good day to everyone. In this video, we'll be learning about normal distribution and empirical rule. First, so what is normal distribution? It is a special type of density curve that is bell-shaped. For this reason, the normal distribution is sometimes called the bell curve or the normal curve. Furthermore, this describes the tendency for data to cluster around a central value, which is the population mean, that's located at the middle of the curve. The mean median mode are equal at the center, while the tails of the curves are asymptotic the horizontal axis. For some reason, the normal distribution and its shape actually arises from many different variables found in nature, such as weight, height, volume, blood pressure, and many more. This is why the normal distribution is commonly studied for. So there are two factors that affect the normal distribution. First is the population mean. It characterizes the, the position of the normal distribution. If you increase the mean of the curve, it will shift to the right, while if you decrease the mean of the curve, it will shift to the left. So kapag above or kinaasan yung value ng mean natin, the curve will move towards right. Kapag naman binabaan or below, magmumove naman siya papunta sa left. Next is the population standard deviation. The standard deviation characterizes the spread of the normal distribution. Kung sa population mean, tinadetermine niya yung position ng normal distribution, sa standard deviation, yung spread naman o lawak o sakop ng normal distribution curve natin. If the standard deviation is large, the curve will be short and spread out. While if it's small, the curve will be skinnier and taller. Kapag mataas yung value ng standard deviation natin, yung magiging visual ng curve is maliit pero malawak at malaki ang magiging sakop. While on the other side, kapag maliit naman yung value, the curve will be skinnier and taller. So this will be the representation of the normal distribution. Under that, we have the empirical rule, or also known as 68-95-99.7% rule. This is the representation of empirical rule. As you can see, it has three parts. The first part is the 68%. Approximately 68% of the data lie within one standard deviation away from the mean, which means we determine that in 68% one standard deviation away from it. So the range will be x is less than mean minus standard deviation, but greater than mean plus standard deviation. So that is the formula on how to get the value next to the mean. Next is approximately 95% of the data lie within two standard deviation away from the mean. Kung kanina one standard deviation lang siya, ngayon para ma-determine natin yung 95, titignan natin yung two standard deviation away from the mean. So from here up to here, yung blue and yung pink part, ayun yung sakop ng 95% natin. So it, this will be the range. Yung, ang pinagkaiba lang is yung standard deviation, ita times na natin siya into 2. Last is the 99.7%. Approximately 99.7% of the data lie within 3 standard deviation away from the mean. So, from, from, part is doon makikita natin yung sakop ng 99.7%. From the, for the range, same with the first part naman, but yung standard deviation is it times natin siya into 3. Example number 1. The height of students in Jose Abad Santos High School are normally distributed with an average height of 5 plus and a standard deviation of 0 0.5. So given na yung mean natin which is 5 plus and standard deviation which is 0 0.5. If you visualize it, this will be our normal curve. So, yung mean natin is at the center, 5, which is 5 plus. Para makuha natin yung value next to it, we need to subtract and add the standard deviation. So, 
5 minus 0 0.5 is 4.5. 4 4.5 minus 0 0.5 is 4. 4 minus 0 0.5 is 3.5. The other side, 5 plus 0 0.5 is 5.5. 5 .5. 5.5 plus 0 0.5 is 6. 6 plus 0 0.5 is 6.5. So we have three questions to answer. First is what is the percentage of the height of one standard deviation away from the mean? Next is what is the percentage of height two standard deviation from the mean? Last is what is the percentage of the height three standard deviation from the mean? So our first question is will be what is the percentage of the height of one standard deviation from the mean? So ang inahanap yung percent, kung 68% ba siya, 95% or 99.7%. So if we visualize it, ito ang magiging um, etsura ng normal curve natin. Yung shaded part, anong percent daw siya? So the answer will be 68%. Next, two standard deviation from the mean naman ang inahanap. Based on our discussion, the two standard deviation away from the mean will be the 95%. Next is the three standard deviation from the mean. The image will be like this. So, from 3.5 to 6.5, that will be 99.7%. Example number two, the examination scores of grade 11 STEM wisdom in their assessment are normally distributed with a mean of 38 and a standard deviation of 3. So, given na yung mean natin na 38 at standard deviation natin na 3. So, ang first question natin, what scores fall within 68% of the distribution? Kung kanina, ang hinahanap is percentage. Dito naman, ang hinahanap, ano yung scores na nakapaloob doon sa 68%. So, this will be the representation. We know that the 68% is one standard deviation away from the mean. And yung mean natin is 38. So, ang scores na nakapalawag sa 68% are 35 up to 41. Next question. What percent of the scores are between 32 to 38? Anong percent naman ang inahanap ulit? Right here, um, we can see that the Um, 32 to 38 are the shaded part. Based on our discussion, two standard deviation away from the mean is considered as the 95%. But, ang inahanap lang is yung percentage ng 32 to 38, not the 32 to 44. So, based on the properties of normal distribution, both sides are equal. So, what we need to do is to have the 95%, which leads to the 47.5%. So, ayun yung percent netong 32 to 38. Ganun din kapag ginahanap ang 38 to 44. Overall, it is 95%. Example number 2. Use the empirical rule to complete the table below with the given data and illustrate it. So the table, yung given is mean and standard division which is 85 and 2.5. What we need to do is to find the 68%, 95%, and 99.7% using the range or the formula. So first, the 68%, 85 minus 2.5 is equal to 82.5. 85 point plus 2.5 is equal to 87.5. So, yung 68% natin is from 82.5 to 87.5. Next is 95%. Using the formula, 85 minus times 2, 2.5 is equal to 80. 85 plus 2 times 2.5 is equal to 90. So, yung 95% natin is from 80 to 90. Next is 99.7%. 85 minus 3 times 2.5 is equal to 77.5. 85 plus 3 times 2.5 is equal to 92.5, which is the range of 99.7% is 77.5 to 92.5. So let's illustrate it. First one is here. 
this will be the um, sakop. Ito yung magiging sakop ng 68% natin. So, let's see. It's right from 82.5 to 87.5. Next, ito naman yung sakop ng 95%. Sorry, sorry. 95% po. From 80 to 90. Next is 99.7% from 77.5 to 92.5. So that's it. I hope you learned something in this video lesson. Thank you for listening.